Here we have an article talking about something I've been talking about for quite some time now. The potential for creating dreams and publishing them beyond the dreams ecosystem. The headline is, Media Molecule wants dreams games published to other devices and beyond. Now that sounds like it could even include PC, phones, as well as PSN. So that's even better. Now they've called him Kareen Batuni, and I should I could swear it's Kareem. I've been calling him Kareem for a long time now and I'm entirely sure they've got that right. But it begins. Media Molecule's plans for dreams extend to giving users full commercial ownership of their creations and now allowing them to publish their games on other platforms. Dreams is a PlayStation 4 exclusive from the studio that is owned by Sony Interactive Entertainment. The same was true of another Media Mole Molecule IP, Little Big Planet, which was also a platform for user generated content. However, anything made with Little Big Planet's tools were closely tied to the game and the console. And then they go on to say they sat down and listened to Kareem Attorney in his Q&A session. The answer is yes, he said, to the question of whether it would happen. We want people to be able to go to the moon with their projects. We already have a commercial license, which means when you get Dreams, you can apply to get a commercial license. And then everything you make in Dreams is yours to use commercially outside of Dreams. That includes things like t-shirts, 3D printing, designs for your books. I mean, the sky's the limits, folks. Then he goes on. The very limited exporting features, the moments, the moment at the moment, are like exporting a video. But we have, in a long term, we have in the long term, exporting a standalone game outside of Dreams entirely, exporting to other devices and beyond. I'm not entirely sure they've written down exactly what he said here. Well, we'll continue. But step one is to show our intent, so that from the very beginning we are doing this commercial concept, which means that everything you do in Dreams is yours. You can use it. People in the Dreams community have already been using it to make graphics designs, album covers and stuff like that, using it for their portfolios and showreels. He added, totally the answer is yes, to which question I don't know, they've not put that in. We have plans, features and dreams of our own and we hope to make it go to the 11th degree so that people can collaborate their creations completely. Celebrate, sorry, their creations completely. Then he goes on again. Green calls it the YouTube of games, that never ending stream of media. As I've pointed that out many times. Little Big Planet's tools were impressive, allowing users to make a broad range of experiences. Broad enough, Otoni said after his talk, that actually careers were built upon what players created in the game. Most of our design department are people from the Little Big Planet community, he said. They get jobs at Mini Molecule and beyond Mini Molecule. With Dreams though, Media Molecule had to go fully deep on the creation tools for it to be relevant in the modern world. Powerful tools are now abundant and easily accessible, Attorney said, and often free. The direction Studio ultimately took was in part influenced by the question, why make another user-generated content platform at all? I felt it was fairly big mountain to climb, he added, but then we started looking at the tools. Attorney showed a slide composed of user interfaces from popular engines and 3D art packages, a morass of buttons and sliders and scales and widgets, virtually impenetrable to the untrained eye. With a skilled guide, he said, Guide with a skilled guide, he said these tools can be made to seem straightforward, but they all suffer from cockpit 
pit syndrome. Everything does F something, but nothing about it is alluring in the same way as a clarin, clarinet or a guitar. Six strings and a piece of wood, and yet different musicians can do very different things with it. The mystique is more in the person than the tool. As I said, is a pencil a drawing? Is a guitar music? This is what I was trying to point out with Dreams. Dreams is not a game. It's a tool for you to make games. And he goes on. Most of our tools are designed as an evolu evolution of engineering software. They all start in the early 80s when the processors were that powerful. They're very numerical. Put in number, change the number, look at the result, put in another number and do that a million times. The intention with, with, with Dream was to develop a four, more intuitive system, more akin to what Atuni believes are the two greatest tools ever invented, ha, the pencil and the piano. In both cases, he said, someone can use them for the first time and immediately educate themselves. With a pencil, a soft or firm grip will result in a different kind of line. With a piano, a light or heavy touch will result in a different sound. As illustrated in a charming video of a Toonie's infant daughter doing exactly that in her first encounter with the piano in his home. Atone described the pencil and the piano as sensitive tools. Medium Molecule was able to get closer to that ideal in dreams thanks to the motion sensing technology in the PlayStation 4 and uh, DualShock 4 and the particularly the one-to-one -one hand tracking offered by the PlayStation Move controllers. He demonstrated the power of the eco of the system in a short video in which an elaborate landscape of rocks, foliage, water and architects. architecture was sculpted in a matter of minutes, much to the delight of the viewer's attention. What is possible with Dreams, sensitive tools, has clear implications for its users, specifically around ownership of the sophisticated games and art which they have invested so much time and skill. Locked to the PlayStation 4, Everything created in Dreams will arguably create the most value for Sony, which isn't the case with the commercial tools Meaning Molecule invokes when discussing its platform. Allowing creators to publish their games elsewhere is a, lo a logical step, just as it was a logical step for YouTube to let its users monetize their video content. The less question put to a Toonie was also about the nature of Dreams as a PlayStation exclusive. Would a Media Molecule and Sony ever make it available to PC or Mac, the platform where so many creatives do their professional work? The answer to every question is yes, but Dreams needs to reach out, reach a lot of people first, Tony said, with the obvious hesitation. Our goal for Dreams is to last for 20 years, wow, and keep expanding it and keep adding to it, keep improving it. Very interesting stuff this folks, very interesting stuff. That 10 year plan has expanded. That has grown quite substantially. They are confident and we know from that statement that we also know internally Sony are also confident. But most of the PlayStation model is designed for a game to come out. It hits the mark and it makes most of its returns in the first week, you know. If it's a big game, it survives for maybe two or three sequels. We need to reach an audience and then grow. But it's definitely in our dreams to do pro versions that are expanded. It just depends on a lot of things working out for us. Well, that is very interesting, you know, because, interesting, because I always thought they wouldn't do that. But because they would risk splitting the community. But that very much looks like they're going to take that risk. Mm. So if you have a pro version, will you be able to have a slightly bigger thermo? 
this is exciting stuff folks I'm sorry I didn't read that perfectly well I, I, I needed to bring you that news and I have done a news one for a long time so I hope you enjoyed it feel free to sub to my channel or like or whatever oh, come on it wouldn't be one of my videos without a plug at the end come on folks give me a break yeah and I'll just leave you with my usual fairly well toodle pip au revoir and all that exciting good stuff I'll see you again folks bye